In this step, we are going to connect the form we developed in the previous step to the application. Let's start by making the form invisible by default. And we need to add some logic when the user selects or deselects a customer in the grid. We can do that by adding a value change listener. First, let's ask if the selected value is null. And if so, we hide the form. Otherwise, we tell the form to use the selected customer. We are almost ready with this application. There is only one last thing we should implement to make it fully functional. And there is an option to add a new customer. So let's create a button for that. Add new customer. Now let's add a click listener. And first, we make sure no row is selected in the grid. And then we tell the form to use a new customer. Let's add the buttons just next to the filtering layout in a new horizontal layout. And we call this toolbar. And instead of adding the filtering to the layout, we have to add the toolbar. Cool, the application is ready now. Let's save the changes and restart the server. So let's start by clicking add new customer. The form appears, first name gets the focus, so I can type something and fill in the other fields as well. Let's select some date here, save it, and yeah, it's now listed over here. And if I click it, I can edit something. And also delete it. And that's about it for this step. Now you should have a better idea of how to create web UIs for your Java applications. There's a lot more that you can do with Vadin, and you can find more information, learning resources, products, and related information at vadin.com.